has been my dream since I was a kid to study abroad. Taiwan has a good reputation in construction domain. Taiwan, most of the institutions, they are focusing on the research and development, especially in the micro-machines, biosensor, tissue engineering, and then biomedical appliances. Taiwan provides the best tourist attraction, and Taiwan provides the best language learning experience in Chinese. Taiwan has many beautiful cultural and natural places to visit. Food-wise, don't worry, we have different selections of food. You name it, you have it. If you would like to do research. If you want to try something new. If you want to work hard and play harder. I will definitely recommend Taiwan. 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 Because it's worth it. Let's go. See Taiga. Taiwan's semiconductor industry is definitely an interesting area. There are other rising startups and a lot of capital bound to Taiwan and Southeast Asia. It seemed like a great opportunity to come here and meet the local people while studying a research topic of my interest. There are many courses I learned a lot from. Especially at NTUST, the focus on machine learning is pronounced in comparison to my previous experiences. And I could learn a lot in directions of artificial intelligence which is a major focus in many labs. If you can combine your heritage and uh, knowledge gained in Taiwan, you have a very unique skill set that only you have. I can still say that every day is showing me the interesting environment, the different polite society, and the great culture that Taiwan has to offer. Welcome to study in Taiwan. Guan Yin like Taiwan Du Shu. Willkommen in Taiwan zum Studieren. This is Lin, the CEO and the founder of Educare Taiwan. Today in the video, I'm going to um, give you the information about the, the scholarship from, um, from Taiwan government. So the first one I'm going to tell you is the MOFA. Uh, the MOFA scholarship actually mainly um, is given to the student from the, those countries which have diplomatic relationship with Taiwan. However, there are some special countries like India that um, they are part of the uh, list that uh, Indian students can, um, can receive this uh, um, scholarship as well. There are mainly two uh, categories of the um, student who can uh, get this scholarship. One is that you want to learn Mandarin. So they will have the uh, language program um, scholarship that is a one year, 12 months um, scholarship. The amount you are getting is 25,000 NT per month. Uh, you just think that one NT is about uh, 2.5 rupees, um, so please calculate by yourself. And the other one is degree students. For degree students, that for undergraduate, that's a four years that they are giving. Um, and for master degree is two years. Generally, that for PhD student is four years. And for degree students, that you can get uh, 30,000 um, uh, NT per, um, per month. And plus, um, Apart from this, that they, they don't give you the tuition waiver. So with, within this uh, money that you need to pay your uh, tuition fee, which is about three to four lakh rupees a, a year, right? Uh, and, and one more thing is that they have given the one-way ticket for you to um, uh, to fly to Taiwan. For more information, um, here is the, um, the website that you can take a look at. The second one is the MOE scholarship. So the MOE scholarship mainly is trying to encourage the academically um, outstanding student to go to Taiwan for their higher education. So they give, um, so they are giving the uh, degree student mainly, yeah, for student who want to have to go to Taiwan for their undergraduate, uh, master degree, and the PhD. And again, for undergraduate, it will be four years, and every month you can get fifteen thousand NT. For master and PhD students, you would get 20,000 NT per month. And the good thing is that this uh, scholarship, they will give you the full tuition waiver and all the credit uh, would, be, um, would be paid by um, this scholarship. It's the more information that you can, um, you can do more search and look for the more detail about this scholarship. So the third um, scholarship is MOE Huayu Enrichment Scholarship. 
This Y means uh, Mandarin in uh, in Chinese, by the way. Um, so this scholarship is um, given to the student who want to go to Taiwan for their um, to learn Chinese. Every year, every month, you can get twenty five thousand NT per month. Here is again is the the website that you can take a look at uh, more detailed information. The last one is the I think is the best one in my opinion uh, is ICDF scholarship. So this scholarship is the Taiwan government providing to the student from developing countries uh, to have their higher education in Taiwan. Um, so it can be again undergraduate, master, and the PhD. So um, for this, uh, um, for, as usual, that for undergraduate is four years, um, for um, master degree is two years, um, for PhD is four years. And sometimes if you, some reason that the, your PhD have become more than four years, then you need to negotiate or you need to ask your uh, the school you are study um, to give you more other um, stipend to subsidize your study in Taiwan. Um, so this ICDF um, scholarship that um, they have they have 30 programs in Taiwan in different universities. Here is the um, uh, the website, which that you can, and the benefit for this ICDF is that they provide the round trip ticket um, to Taiwan, uh, which the most direct flight to Taiwan. And they, they give you the free dormitory, the tuition fee is free, and then um, then they give they even pay for your insurance, yeah? Um, then for undergraduate students, that every month you will get 12,000 NT per month for four years. For master degree student, you will get 15,000 NT per month for two years. For a PhD student, you can get 17,000 NT per month for four years. So, so here is the uh, the detail of the information on this uh, scholarship. Um, so far, that um, all the uni I mean government scholarship um, application date is the first of January um, to the 31st of March.